Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and tonight I am determined to make this relatively boring property border a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna achieve this in a couple of different ways. First of all, I am going to layer down some Soil Cube Veggie Mix. This is a brand new product from Soil Cube, and it's really terrific. Don't worry, I'll give you an up close view. I'm also going to go ahead and plant some various Lycoris bulbs, including Lycoris guamaraja, uh, this yellow one, Lycoris aria, and Lycoris radiata, the traditional um, kind of red uh, surprise lily. And I got these from a local garden center, Piedmont Feed and Garden Center. And when I saw that they had them, I, I was just like, oh my gosh. And I, I bought a whole bunch. Uh, they're relatively uncommon. So when you do find them, buy them. You will not regret incorporating these into your garden. They do kind of bloom as a surprise, often more in the fall, usually following a heavy rainstorm or like a tropical system like a hurricane. So this property border here um, has always been fairly neglected and I've decided that because I'm watering over here regularly, I have a, a, a hose stretched out at all times, uh, I can keep this section watered well enough, particularly through the cool season. So in addition to getting the Lycoris planted, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to plant some um, different varieties of cauliflower and cabbage just so that it'll give me something to come out and harvest um, at different times of the fall and early winter. So stay tuned to watch my progress. All right, so the first step is really simple. I'm actually just going to kind of push away some of this mulch. So you just mulched here about a month ago in preparation of the fall open garden. So there's really no reason to waste it, um, but I don't really, uh, want to layer the soil right on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep it away in the area that I want to concentrate my planting on. Now I've got some things germinating, probably a mix of weeds and good plants. I usually have a pretty good stand of uh, larkspur here. But I also know that I have a huge amount of vet. I'm not really gonna pull any of these seedlings out because they're still in the cotyledon stage. Difficult for me to fully identify what they are until they start to develop true leaves. But nothing wrong at all with going ahead and dumping out this awesome new product from Soil Cube called Veggie Mix. Oh, look at that black magic. Let me give you a close up. So as you can see, the veggie mix is in a bright green bag marked veggie mix. And it is the same beautiful black magic compost that you're used to. But in the veggie mix, they've added a couple elements, including ground aged pine bark, hardwood fiber and charcoal. All of this will actually help make growing vegetables even easier. It's also being bioassayed on a weekly basis to ensure there are no persistent herbicides in this compost. You can see it's really nice and light and fluffy. It's well drained and it's exactly what all of your vegetables, both winter and warm season, want to be growing in. I am so thrilled with this new product that they've introduced and frankly you're going to see me using it a whole lot in now you can see the Lycoris bulbs, some are much larger, like the um, Squamoraja. Squamoraja has a much larger bulb. I have three of those. Um, the Radiatas are much smaller. There's two in each bag. And then the Aria is kind of a middle-sized bulb. And I have three of each. I am basically gonna just concentrate them right here in the middle. I'm gonna plant them all together, mixed up, so that when they do bloom, hopefully I'll get this great color combination. So I'm just gonna plant these 
you know, relatively deep, um, deep enough. I'm gonna dig, dig one big hole and make sure that I get this good new compost incorporated in. And like I said, this has been really an underperforming bed from the beginning. And I've decided I'm just, I'm gonna rehab it because I'm working over here and I'm dragging the hose right by it. So there's really no reason that I can't go ahead and keep it watered. Okay, I was just checking the planting instructions. Really <laughs> nothing like Cora's or Hardy zones five to 10. Uh, so pretty, pretty remarkable in that sense. And I am just going to kind of drop a few bulbs in here, just like that. Lycoris actually grow through the winter season. Their foliage is active in the winter. So, um, you know, planting now is totally great. That, that'll sort of stimulate them to start uh, growing vegetatively to uh, store some extra energy. You can see the, the pink species is, is really a nice size bulb. Go ahead and get that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand this hole so I can get the rest of the bulbs in. And I think it'll be a really impressive display when they do flower, hopefully next summer. So this Lycoris is all planted and I've got this nice soil available. I'm just going to go ahead and pop in some of these cool season veggies, just like that. Super simple. Um, that way I'll have, you know, an added reason to keep it watered. It doesn't matter if I'm planting on top of those Lycoris because the foliage will just grow up through. And this is just give me some extra motivation for maintaining this bed uh, over the course of the cool season. I've actually never grown uh, vegetables in this area because um, up until this year, I just really hadn't paid enough attention to it. So I think this is um, a great motivation to do something a little bit different. <music> So you might be asking yourself, what about fertilizer? And yes, I should be fertilizing. I just don't have any right now, but I am going to run out tomorrow and get some. I really like the Dr. Earth 465 formulation. So that's primarily what I'm gonna be using for all my cool season veggie plantings. And once I get it fertilized and I get these things growing, I will definitely be adding some BT because the cabbage worms will absolutely knock these plants down to nothing because we have not had any cold weather yet. The cabbage worm population is stronger than ever before. And frankly, these cabbage worms don't really disappear here in central North Carolina zone seven. Even in the middle of winter, we still have cabbage worm pressure. So to successfully grow these cool season brassica crops, I absolutely will have to keep the BT on. So be sure to subscribe for regular updates on this planting and all of the others that I have going on here. And I look forward to sharing updates with all of you during my weekly garden tours. As always, thanks so much for watching everybody and happy planting.